Dear and salutations, people. I'm your friend and neighborhood list player Spider Man, and I welcome you to all the Sesame Turbo Challenge on the Commodore 64. I didn't even realize that there was a Lotus on the Commodore 64. Now I played the first and second game on the Amiga like I used to, but when I saw that this actually is on the Commodore 64, I decided, go for it. Let's see how well it goes. I mean, it's, it's a good game on the Amiga itself, but... Yeah, one player, manual gear, no... Computerized gears, yeah, that's uh, what the automated should be. Normal control, yeah, why not? I think I'm good, good, good to go. Should go with the, uh, that's the regular track. Hmm... Let's just go with the uh, the um, regular main theme. I mean, the other tricks are good, although this one it sounds better on the Commodore 64. Actually, the Amiga version I never liked that much. But let's go and see how well I will drive, because I have no idea how well this game rolls. Flat with gentle curves, no hazards in Verona, North Italy. Bum ba da da dum bum ba dum. As I was expecting, the scrolling is not the best, but it's not uh, like super bad. Yep. Yep. Come on. I should have been able to get through there. Side turns, side turns, side turns. Oh, come on! Seriously, I'm not gonna qualify to the next round. To the next race at this rate. Some of you might be wondering oh, what the hell is that number 19 up there? That's my position. You would have thought that it would be some kind of a timeline? Nope. This is a race. I'm at the position 76 and then nah, back to 19. Isn't it the number 20 on uh, the Amiga? And it's just so hard to get past these guys. Oh, come on! Get back up there! <laughs> We're halfway through the race and I still am at the final place. Okay, I missed that the pit stop totally. I could have re could have used some refueling. That was the uh, first position right there. I've been overlapped. There's no way I can survive this. I mean, once you get used to the uh, scrolling, it's not that bad, actually. It's really well done scrolling. Last lap, uh, great. Was I overlapped that many times? That wasn't even the first position that overlapped me? This is a lot harder than on the Amiga. I cannot. Uh, I cannot say it's because of uh, because of the scrolling. The scrolling and, and everything. Uh, the controls are really good. It's just getting past the cars is freaking hard. It's not that hard on you know. Player one time zero. Absolute beginner. Yeah, I know. I wonder if I could have been able to change my name from player one to something else. Maybe if I just uh, would have just typed something in there. Oh. I'm just player one then. Is it loading the next race or are we returning back to the main menu? Main menu. As I thought. Yep. Let's put our proper name there because it, ex it is so exotic. Uh, this time, let's take track three. Might help to have a different kind of a track playing in the background. Alrighty. There one. Put push the metal pedal to the metal and go. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not easy to get past these guys. I mean, you just bang right into them. I think that... Well, that was just ramming right up his ass. But it seems like I ram into one of them even if though I wasn't close. So I guess the hitbox detection is a bit too wide on the cars. <sighs> this is all my fault that why I'm so bad at this. I haven't played a racing game in a long while anyway. And I knew do mean a purely racing game. The only game where I've driven a car at all fucking the latest uh, game that I have played where I actually drive a car has been GTA 5. And that even that will have has been a while since I played. It. Of course, you're gonna have races in uh, GTA 5, but you don't play that game for racing. I am going to give up on this game. There's no way I can ever win. It's just the... I don't know what it is about this version. I mean, it's a, like I already said, it is not super bad. It's pretty well done for the Commodore 64. At least I made it to 17. Woo! I don't know what it is about it that it... I'm not that bad at load these load escapes. I used to play these a lot. But then again, rusty, you know, gotta take the rust off of your hands so you can play better. Rust out of your mind so you can focus better. I mean, I'm super focused, but... <sighs> I just don't know. Do not know. I do like it that the... All the names that they have here, T. Harry Boots and Ayrton Send Up and Nigel Mainsail and all the others. I mean, they're just uh, like uh, joke names of real racers. They have the they have the same names in the Supercars games because they are made by Gremlin Graphics as well. So it's kind of it's kind of funny to think uh, that the Supercars games and these Lotus uh, games are both in the same universe. Because of the uh, race, uh, racers and their names are the same, so... Well, anyway, this is gonna be a short video. I'm just gonna leave it here because I can't... I just can't. For, for some reason, I can't. I don't know what it is. Can't really explain it, why I'm not doing so well. But mostly, I think the problem is just with me. I'm not good at racing games anymore. But maybe it is the frame rate that is uh, screwing up with me. I don't know, but I I actually like it. I think it's a good game on the Commodore 64. Really well made. Comparing to the Amiga version, it's really well made. But thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.